In this video series I would like to analyze how different countries would look like in their greater version today. Don't take it too seriously, it's just a thought experiment using a lot of imagination. In the last video we took a look at Greater Turkey, but Switzerland will not be sparred from our thought experiment. In this video we'll transform Switzerland from a peaceful country into an empire with superpower ambitions. To do this I'll use this document as a guide, which lists all not so serious requests from neighboring regions to join Switzerland. In the north we add Baden-Württemberg and Bavaria to Greater Switzerland. After all, the Swabians and the Swiss maintain a orderly, even good neighborly relationship with each other, as long as it's not about aircraft noise. And apparently 86% of the readers of the Swabian newspaper are in favor of joining Switzerland. Additionally, the economic engine Bavaria is added as a new canton to the Swiss Confederation because a study of OECD brought to light that Bavaria and also Baden-Württemberg fit much better to Switzerland than initially thought. Thus, a prominent German newspaper even reported that Bavaria fits better to Switzerland than to Germany. The Austrian state of Vorarlberg also feels the ambitions of Greater Switzerland. Because in 1919, after the First World War, 82% of the population voted in a referendum in favor of joining Switzerland. The proposal is still discussed today, more jokingly than seriously, so we take this opportunity to declare Vorarlberg Greater Switzerland's 29th canton. In 2014, a forum was held in Bolzano with the topic Canton of South Tyrol, Utopia or Vision. In the sense of when two Querol the third rejoices, South Tyrol will also become a new canton of Greater Switzerland. An online petition went viral in 2012, over 20,000 Italians signed up for Lombardy to join Switzerland. One of the most populous and economically powerful regions in Europe would therefore also be added to Switzerland as yet another canton. There is also an interesting fact about the Aosta Valley, which originally belonged to Savoy but was massively Italianized during Italy's fascism. French was banned as a language and Italian immigration was enforced. Apparently a Swiss political party already addressed this topic and wanted the Aosta Valley to join Switzerland, with the reasoning that after all the Aosta Valley is keen on more distance from Rome. Greater Switzerland will also take care about the French regions. Savoy, south of Lake Geneva, was independent for centuries, but 150 years ago it fell under French sovereignty and today no longer even has a status of a region within France. Patrice Abbé, former secretary general of a party within Savoy that had envisioned its independence, described Savoy as a failed Switzerland and saw joining Switzerland as an option. We will not miss this opportunity to add this territory to Greater Switzerland. Until 2015, Franche Comté was a region in France. And in this region, the political party Mouvement Franche Comté was founded. Its party president has spoken out that Franche Comté should be annexed by Switzerland. Furthermore, eventful history has closely linked this region to the Swiss Confederation for as long as the Middle Ages. Such a greater Switzerland would not have 26 cantons but 34, not 8.7 million inhabitants but a population of over 46 million and would not be 41,000 square kilometers large but over 207,000 square kilometers. Currently 73% of the Swiss speak German, 23% French, 6% Italian and 0.7% Romanche. But in Greater Switzerland this ratio would shift significantly in favor of Italian. In Greater Switzerland Italian would no longer be spoken by only 6% but by 23%, almost a quarter of the population. French on the other hand would be spoken by only 9.4% of the population. Munich would be the largest city in Greater Switzerland, closely followed by Milano. 